Central acquaintance from Venice, California. He won $2,000, but has burned up all of our lifelines. Mm -hmm. But going for $4,000 in just a moment. So t t tell us about your career. You've got some things coming up, right? Yep, yep. I did uh, an episode of Providence. I uh, did oh. sign language with a chimpanzee. Do you sign? Yeah, I sign a little bit and uh, enough. And, did the uh, chimpanzee and get the it? And the chimp, he got it. I mean, we knew the lines. The chimp knew his lines. I knew my lines. <laughs> so. Uh, but wait a minute. The chimp read your sign language? No, he. They just trained him certain signs so that when you know the camera cut to him, then he was like, "I'm home," and he was signing his. You mean thing. to tell me the chimp signed back to you? Yeah. Great chimp. Yeah, very. Love very the chimp. Great chimp. Yeah. All right, in the meantime, let's win some money, okay? Yes. You're nine away from a million, going for 4,000. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> Where was Room 222 located in the 1970s television series Room 222? Was it in a pediatric hospital, the White House, hotel, or in a high school? Too young for this series, huh? A teeny bit too young. Um, I think I'd probably be the only person to walk away with 2,000, and that'd be crazy. I wonder what the chimp would think when you tell him. Yeah, I mean, uh, the chimp, he has it going on. He's got a career. Chimp makes more than this, and, uh... <laughs> exactly. Uh, where is room 222? Come on, Richard, you can do it. Room 222. It's in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the show. Um, I feel like it was a high school, and that makes sense, but <clears throat> but I don't know. And I, I you know, Samira, just I'm not proud. I'll take two thousand over one thousand. What? I will. I know that I see people at home, and I'm like, what are you doing, walking away with eight thousand dollars? But. Um, But what's your first impression here? Well, my first impression was high school. That just seems to make sense, Room 222. But if I've never seen the show, then how can that be my first instinct? Well, you, you don't know? have to see the show. You could have read about it, heard yeah. about it. Yeah. Talked about it with someone. Yeah. And I love to gamble, too. I love blackjack, but... Um... Let's say D, high school. Final answer? Final answer. Just won four thousand dollars. Walt Whitman High School was the name of the school. See, first impressions, confidence, Rachel. Okay. Eight away from a million, going for eight thousand dollars. The Ohio River forms part of the border of which of the following states? Kentucky, Tennessee, Wisconsin, Michigan. I think it's Wisconsin. That's where my sister lives. So clearly I would know that. suppose in this case you got to think of the name of the river. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's Wisconsin. Wisconsin's not really near Ohio. Michigan. Detroit, Michigan is an eastern time zone. It makes sense to me. I don't expect anyone else to. Tennessee seems so south, and Kentucky seems south. Your final answer? No, it's Kentucky. Kentucky right across 
the river from Ohio. So you leave with a thousand dollars, kiddo. Good luck to you. Well, that's a shame. It's too bad. But Kentucky just isn't as far south as she thought it was. Anyway, we now have an empty hot seat, so here's the next fastest finger question. Put the following books in the order they were first published, starting with the earliest. Arrowsmith, Presumed Innocent, The Power and the Glory, The Brethren. Okay, time's up. Let's see that answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest book, and it was Arrowsmith, and then The Power and the Glory, Presumed Innocent, Finally The Brethren. That's the right order. Who did it in the fastest time? And the winner is Scott Broder. <laughs> Brody going for $1 million when we come back.